Okay. Firstly, I want to go back to the first caller. He said that nobody's making our children sell drugs. I'm going to disagree with that. Black boys have the most difficult time of anybody in America to find a job. An illegal immigrant who doesn't even speak English will get a job before a black teen. When you are not given an opportunity to earn money so that you can enjoy yourself in your teen years, or if you are not given an opportunity to earn a decent living as an adult male, livable wage jobs that will allow you to provide for yourself and your family, you're often left with no alternative but to go to the underworld. This has been the modus operandi for European immigrants for about 100 years. Jewish gangsters, Italian mobsters, okay, Irish drug dealers. When European immigrants came to America and when they found themselves shut out of the economic order, they created ways of making money, whether it was illegal booze or illegal drugs. But when the Irish and the Jew and the Italian was absorbed into the American social order, they left drug dealing to black people. So I disagree with the brother by saying that nobody makes them sell. If I have a daughter and she's hungry and my daughter needs to eat and nobody's going to hire me or I have a felony on my record or I'm a young black boy who the entire society has been turned against, I may have to sell drugs to look out for my child. I'm not condoning it. The selling of drugs is definitely leading to the destabilization of the black community. I'm not for it one bit, but at the same time, as a psychologist, as a political scientist, I have to look at the unseen hand. I have to look at the deliberate engineering of the black community in service of its extermination. Drugs were introduced in our community by the Central Intelligence Agency. If you want to stop drug dealing, pay a visit to Obama and tell them to stop allowing drugs to come into our neighborhood. That's how you eliminate drug dealing, but you do not blame boys for selling substances that you know they do not have the capacity to bring into their own neighborhood. That's a cop-out and a coward. Go to the bully who's bringing the substance in and stop blaming those who are bullied for doing something that they really have no control over.